Add it to our cartoons with John Mark. Today we're going to do this cute little cartoon, Snow Monster. All right, let's begin the lesson. You'll notice that I'm using my traditional glue pencil, and this one is going to be a real fun one. Please use your imagination and feel free to explore your creativity and your style, of course. So what I'm doing here is a combination of his mod, his head and his uh, body. He's going to be like sunk in like a whole bunch of snow. So I'm not going to do his full body in that case. All right. So I have my crosshairs over here and I'm just going to create where the nose and the eyes are going to be. And from that point on, I'm just going to build up on this little character. So what I did here is I kind of thumbed out a couple sketches prior to doing the lesson just to get the feel of my idea of what the, the character could look like. Sometimes when you start dry like this, you could be erasing a lot. I'm not so sure how it's going to be. So what I did is just create some thumbnails and kind of gives me a blueprint on how this character could look at, like. And again, uh, I'm just going to be sketching. This is no final um, rendition. He's going to be just like his arms crisscrossed over each other. And um, I could make him like he has a snow cone stand, like an Italian snow cone stand. That'd be a fun one to add on top of that one. That'll be for the next lesson. All right, so as you can see here, I just have the structure of the body, the arms crisscross, and now I'm just working on his mouth. I have his eyes done, and I have his hair really quickly just knocked out there. What do you see in your little character? Does he have like a little village behind him? Uh, maybe a little polar bear or penguin back there? Somebody sledding or snowmobiling? Feel free to use your imagination when the theme really fits in. That's something that I really want you to practice when you're drawing right now. Uh, really think about the environment that that picture is in and really maybe do a little research in the uh, surroundings because that kind of gets you uh, in the mood and also helps with it. In this case, he's going to be really, really furry. So I'm going to make a lot of a little fur. So that's right the baseline right where his belly and everything underneath there. He's just popped up from above the snow right now. And his little hair. Let's get a little jaggy here. Really, really hair. So what do I see the color? Of course, I see like baby sky blue, light blues and whites for this character since he's a, like a snow monster in the North Pole. Um, I'm thinking this way right now due to the winter time that we're currently in right now, where I am. All right, let's, I'm just going to reroute that hair, make it a little bit a little uh, tighter, not so big. See, I'm not using an eraser. So this is step number two versus step number one. And I'm going to leave that outside line there. That's perfectly fine because it is just a sketch. And I'm going with the little his eyebrows on the top there. I'm going to shade that in. Really simple. All right. Now let's get a little bit more with his hair. Okay, let's get his hand over here. Yeah, a little bit darker now. Okay. All right. So this is all, I'm going on like step number three, my step by step lessons. And I'm taking a little bit more time, and my my um, my strokes are a little bit heavier and darker, of course in that case. And as you can see the curvature that I'm adding and when I'm doing the fur, they're overlapping. They don't stop at all intentionally. So they kind of have that uh, little flow. So like what type of fur do you have? Is it kind of uh, soft and round or is it really, really um, like hairline? All right. This, he has his three fingers. All right, and he's pointing that one. Let's get that little finger a little bit better. There we go. I like that. Good, good, good. All right, his back. Now that's his like his belly in that corner there. All right, so let's get his nose a little bit more. All right, round that up. There we go. That looks good. I like that. I like that. All right, let's get his little eyes a little darker. So what color eyes does he have? Since he's a snow monster, he could have ice cool blue eyeballs and everything. He's nice and relaxed because he's always eating ice cream because he lives in a frozen land. He doesn't have to worry about his ice cream freezing up. All right. And there's the other eyeball on the other side. And there you go. And that's the eyebrow there. Okay, that looking good. I like that. Let's get the hair a little bit more fluffy. I like the round edge fluff. That's more my style. 
Let's get that curvature going there again. And you can see how we have his arch back there, kind of like his position with his head there, just like a three quarter view uh, looking over there. Let's get that little fur over here a little bit more fluffy. He could have a different color hair. He could have dark blue hair, thinking of that. And his body could be more ice blue and with uh, white on it at the same time. Just thinking of that. Yeah, this, this, and I'm just going to shade that in right now just to uh, reference that as a thought possibility. And again, sometimes what I'll do, I'm not going to do them on these lessons. When you see, I actually will write down like maybe the hair could be dark blue on the top. Let's get his nose. He, he could have like a, a little reddish nose because it's a little cold outside. All right, let's get the little snow mounds there. All right, another one over here. There we go. Little mountains in the background. Simple, just to give a little feel for the the form. Ice snow tops. Uh, of course, well, in, since he's in North Pole, everything is pretty much white. He's not. You know, I gotta shade that. And then it, the reason I'm shading that is to give that depth and that dimension. As you can see, when I'm shading with the lines, I have them starting to curve a little bit with the um, the, sh the shape of the mountain, so they're not always straight little clouds here and there all right simple i like that okay simple little character little snow monster all right so make sure when you finish sign date share with your family and friends and thanks for watching this lesson and have a great day